Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, The Design Wizard. From the links on the left under Edit, we will now be clicking on Design Wizard. However, I'm going to give you a word of caution. Do not go any further if you're working with a design company such as One Choice for your store. This will remove all programming from your store. And if you are not working with the design company, then please continue to click on the Design Your Site button for the Design Wizard. Now here we have two choices, and we're going to go ahead and choose the generic templates. We'll take a look at the pre-designed templates well, but for now, let's just go ahead and look at the generic templates. You will notice that we have two choices left navigation or top navigation. If your store will only have three to five categories, then top navigation is a possible choice for you. Otherwise, I would highly recommend staying with a left column, navigation. Now our next step is choosing our color. And choosing the color is very easy. As you can see, we can click on any of the color palettes and our site design changes. And we can continue to click on different colors and get different examples of how our website. There's actually 28 different color palettes to choose from. So go ahead and look through the different ones and choose the right one for you. Now let's go ahead and click on the drop down and choose pre-designed templates. A word of warning here. We suggest that you kind of stay away from these pre-designed templates. Reason being is that we have found it's much harder down the road to make changes or to add different elements to your website when you're using these pre-designed templates. However, if you still want to use them, it works pretty much the same as the color palettes. You go through the different options and click on them and you can view how they will look on your website. Now let's say you do decide that the pre-design is not right for you and you want to go back over to the generic templates. There's actually two different ways that you can accomplish this. You can use the drop down to go back to generic or you can click on the back button as well. Either one will get you right back to color choices that we were at before. So, we're going to go ahead and choose a color palette that we believe is going to work for our website. And once we have done that, we're going to click the next step. Now here, as you can see, we're given three choices. We can use plain text, upload our own logo, or upload an entire header as a graphic advanced. Now, what exactly is this? Well, this is putting our name into the header of our website. Now, if you're going to be uploading a logo, you want to upload a transparent background in your logo. What that means is that the background is clear. There's no color. And this way, no matter what color you use today or tomorrow, the logo will still fit in with your website. If you don't have a logo right now, that's okay. Most businesses getting started don't have a logo right off the bat. And don't get stuck here at this point. We want to move on and help you to open up your store. So for here, if you don't have a logo, let's just go ahead and use plain text. And from this area, we'll click on use plain text and we'll click the next button. The next screen that we're going to see is going to allow us to actually input the name of our website. And this is what's going to show at the top of the page in our header. Once we're done, we'll click the next button again. From here, we're going to be adding text and information to your website. Now, don't get stuck here because later on in this series, we're going to show you how to go back and make changes to all these different areas. However, as you can see, we can easily go within any one of these text areas and we can add, we can edit, we can remove text, we can do whatever we need to 
to make it more unique for us. And we can put in the information that we want to put in. But once again, just remember, don't get stuck here. We can easily edit it later. Once you're done with this area, go ahead and click the Finish button.